Well, hello everyone out there and a happy Friday to you all. Today is June 23rd, 2023. My name is Lenny Hernandez and we have a great episode of Arrow Nicely News in store for you. On today's episode, we're celebrating dad by checking out Community Father's Day celebrations. Vitalia Montrose gets a special visit from an antique fire truck. Spectrum News visits Vitalia North Homestead to report on Arrow's Her Story campaign. Communities honor Juneteenth with special events and food and finally, we wish residents some very happy birthdays. Well, like I always say, no time like the present. So let's get this show on the road. Welcome to Arrow Nicely News. Sunday, June 18th was Father's Day, and it's a day to celebrate all the amazing dads out there who spend the time and gave the effort to be a positive part of their kids' lives. It's no small task raising children, and those men who stepped up and rose to the challenge deserve to be celebrated. Aero communities are filled with such men as these, and the teams made sure that they felt the love and appreciation. There were decorations, delicious food everywhere, and most importantly, family visits both in person and via virtual messages. A couple communities were even able to arrange special appearances of impressive motor vehicles. The Princeton Senior Living had a visit with a 1914 Model T, and the Madison Senior Living welcomed a full-blown car show with some serious horsepower and speed for dads and everyone to enjoy. We hope that you all celebrated the amazing fathers in your lives, and to all the dads out there, a very happy Father's Day. Well, and speaking of impressive autos, Vitalia Montrose had a visit from a restored mid 20th century fire engine driven by Jim, a volunteer firefighter with the Sharon Township Fire Department. Not only that, but residents enjoyed a performance by the Stan Hewitt Goodyear Concert Band right there in the community with a resident son performing with them. It was a very special event for everyone and residents were raving about the beautiful performance and of course, the magnificent fire truck. You may recall back in March, Aero Senior Living's Her Story campaign, where we showcased the impressive and inspirational lives that women in our memory care neighborhoods have led. It was an intentional effort to make sure that these stories got told because even though memories may fade, her stories are forever. You can pop over to any of our community social media pages to read all about the many, many women and their incredible lives. Well, Spectrum News got wind of the campaign and they stopped by Vitalia North Olmsted to learn more. Jenna Jordan and her team spoke with Julie Sabo, Regional Memory Care Director for Aero Senior Living, as well as Memory Care resident, Diane Mosley and her family. They were featured in a news article that can be found on Spectrum News' website by following this QR code or clicking the link in the description. It is a wonderful read with Jenna and Spectrum being very impressed with the attention to detail and innovative ways that Arrow Memory Care Neighborhoods provide care to residents with dementia. We're glad, of course, here at Arrow that the Her Story campaign is receiving some well-deserved attention. Next up, Aero Senior Living honored the Juneteenth holiday. It is a holiday to mark the day that the last slaves were freed in Galveston, Texas on June 19, 1865, more than two years after the Emancipation Proclamation because believe it or not, enslavers weren't really eager to give up their enslaved people. The day became a celebration of freedom for black communities in Texas. And in 2021, it was declared a federal holiday. Aero communities commemorated the day with decorations and delicious food at all of our communities. Vitalia Strongsville welcomed a Billie Holiday reenactor from Women in History who told residents all about her fabulous career and gave them a beautiful musical performance. Love a man oh, can be. I've heard it say that the thrill of romance can be 
The Fremont welcomed the president of the NAACP Springfield, Kaya Sutton, who gave a speech about Juneteenth and its meaning. The Kent Ridge Senior Living enjoyed a guest from the Dejabo Cultural Institute who taught about the history of drumming and instructed residents on how to drum. The Madison Senior Living's own Joella Rivers presented a powerful speech about the history and culture of Juneteenth. The holiday is considered the longest running African American holiday and has been called America's second independence day. And Vitalia North Royalton also welcomed a reenactor in Mahalia Jackson, an American gospel blues singer who told her story and sang some very moving music. We hope that everyone took some time to appreciate Juneteenth and to recognize the extra challenges that Black people have had to overcome right here in the U.S. I mean, there is still work to be done to find equity, but be sure, of course, to celebrate the progress that has been made. Happy Juneteenth. Well, and finally, we here at Nicely News would like to wish a very happy birthday to Catherine at the Westbury Senior Living. She is celebrating her 100th birthday, and we wish her the very best. <laughs> Ooh, we'd also like to wish a very happy birthday to the one and only Nell at Vitalia Strongsville. She also has been traveling around the sun on this starship called Earth for a hundred years, and we know that the future is looking even brighter. Well, happy birthday to the both of these wonderful women from your friends here at Nicely News. Happy birthday, happy birthdays to you. Well, everybody, that'll do it for this episode of Arrow Nicely News. Thank you so much for joining us on this fine day. It was truly a pleasure to have you. But now our time has come to an end and we must bid adieu for another half fortnight. As always, though, we will be back soon with more heartwarming stories from around Arrow communities. For Arrow Nicely News, I'm Lenny Hernandez. Have a wonderful weekend, an even better week, and we will see you all next Friday.